I've had a sudden realization just how big HBAR is going to be. I've started to delve into a bit more of the data behind HBAR and understand a little bit more about what it is that is really going to drive this crypto project forward and drive the value of that token. And especially given the time that we're at in the market right now, I think money is about to flow into large cap coins and HBAR is sat in a perfect place for me to be buying right now. So if you want to find out exactly what I'm talking about and hit the like button, let's get into today's video. Now guys, if you are subscribed to this channel, which you absolutely should be because every day I'm bringing you up-to-date advice on what cryptos I'm buying, as well as various tutorials on how to find the next 1000X altcoin, then you'll understand that I like to talk about HBAR. HBAR is a phenomenal project because of what is really behind the scenes and what's going on that's really gonna drive forward this project into the next bull market now we already know that the transactions per second are absolutely insane on each bar here we can see on june the 6th it had a maximum transactions of ten and a half thousand per second and right now you're like well why is h bar not really doing a huge amount well if we jump across the h bar website this is going to help you to understand a little bit more about what's going to drive forward the price uh, of h bar you can see that the number of transactions 118 million in the last 24 hours now this is a lot, right? And we can see that there's a lot of them going on because there's so many different governing partners uh, and use cases for HBAR. We're seeing uh, ranging from like tech to aerospace to telecom to energy. HBAR is being utilized by so many different organizations. But right now, the demand isn't really there because it's a bear market. We don't have a huge amount of people flooding into the space. But we're seeing HBAR starting to get used more and more often. Now, I want you to understand the simple concepts, and I'm sure you do if you've ever heard of this before, that is supply and demand. Now, this is a very simple thing. If something is rare or difficult to get hold of and people want it, for example, gold or diamonds, it goes up in value. Now, as soon as something becomes very available because it's less in demand or whatever, then the price will start to fall. And that's what we see in cryptocurrency all the time. Now, unlike Bitcoin, we have a bit of a different thing with the likes of HBAR and also the same with Ethereum. Bitcoin goes up in value because people are buying it or selling it. Effectively, it's as simple as that. But there's something else that controls the value of layer ones, which is HBAR or Ethereum, because the transaction fees on these particular coins isn't controlled just by people buying and selling HBAR or buying and selling Ethereum, but actually more to do with the number of transactions that people are using and the more the use case available, which we're seeing with HBAR, ranging from things like NFTs to now moving in towards the gaming world, Web3 and so much more that's going to drive forward that demand for the token to be used as transactions. Now, that's obviously important, but it's not the only thing that's going to drive us forward. But actually right now, what I'm starting to understand is where we are in the market. We've seen a good healthy start to the year for Bitcoin, Ethereum, but HBAR not really do a huge amount. I want to draw your attention to what happens after phase two, and that is moving into the large cap portion of the market where we find HBAR. And that for me is something that's very exciting. During the last bull market, we saw a huge amount of growth in Ethereum because of the NFT marketplace. Now, not only did we see the growth there, but we saw growth in a variety of other areas and we saw transactions being extremely slow and extremely difficult. So there was a huge demand for the tokens for transaction fees, but also for people just buying Ethereum. The transaction fees alone are enough to drive up the demand but there's still kind of a good amount of supply available. But this means that when we start to move into a crypto bull market and people, the retail investors like yourself and myself and the large money investors start to come into the market, we already find HBAR in a place where it's already in a fairly reasonable level of demand. And the supply is there, but supply will soon start to decrease, although we are obviously still having more tokens released onto the market. Now, this sets us up for a potentially great position to be buying into right now. We know that we're going to move from phase two into phase three very shortly, in my opinion. And that's where we want to look at coins such as HBAR that are positioned really nicely. And what I want to do is show you HBAR versus Ethereum charts, okay? Mainly because of what HBAR represents and what Ethereum represents. And not, I'm not saying one's better than the other, okay? I don't really care to argue that right now. What I'm looking at is where HBAR is in comparison to where Ethereum is. Bearing in mind that Ethereum has been through two bull markets now. HBAR has only been through one bull market. And what we can see is that during the last bull market, we saw a massive surge in the HBAR price and a bit of a slower surge in the Ethereum price. 
But what I want to draw your attention to is where Ethereum sat at the last bull market back in 2018, and it managed to grow from that high 240%. And you're like, well, that's nothing. That might not be a huge amount when we talk about crypto, uh, but bearing in mind that HPAR right now sits nearly a 9.5x below its previous all-time high, okay, this swing high. Now, if we see something similar unfolding in the next bull market, then you're going to see a 2.5 times or 2.5x that all-time high. Now, the all-time high for HBAR sits there at around 60 cents. So 2.5x, we'll be looking at a $1.5 HBAR. So from current levels to a $1.5 HBAR, then we see a 35x. But something slightly different to consider is the way that crypto is growing. And I mean that we get growth in bull markets and drop into bear markets. And if you arrived in the last bull market or before the last bull market, like I did, then you'll understand that you get uh, a lot of people coming into the space and then they kind of come out of the space, but they still kind of have an idea. They keep their finger on the pulse or they're ready to get back into it next time. I guarantee that there's no one really who was in crypto in the last bull market who's not willing to get into it in this bull market. But not only that, you've probably now told four or five different friends and family who are now getting into the next bull market, which means that there is a big flood of money and exponentially each and every bull market is going to be even bigger, which is why I see the potential for HBAR to be pushing beyond $1.5 and probably pushing towards around $3 in an absolutely insane bull market. But it's not about just buying HBAR and just putting all my money in HBAR and waiting for HBAR to go to like $3. This is important. When we consider this flow of money, we know that we move from Bitcoin into Ethereum and then into the large caps and into a phase four altcoin season. Now, you would anticipate that HBAR probably sits within phase three. And this is important because from phase three, if we see good growth in HBAR, we could start to take some money out of that and move it into altcoin gems. Now, for example, if you're investing $1,000 into HBAR right now, and HBAR goes and does a 20X in the next year, who knows, might be possible then you can start to say, well, I'm going to leave some money in HBAR and start to take money out because the benefit of finding those 1,000x potential coins is they are high risk, but you could use $50, $100, $100 into a 1,000x coin that does 1,000x and becomes $100,000. You need to be using these large caps. If you've been investing in Bitcoin and Ethereum so far, you're probably pretty happy, probably happier than you have been if you've been investing in likes of Jasmine or HBAR or XLM more recently. But I do think that looking at where HBAR is right now, we do stand to make some great gains in the future. And that's why I've been buying into it, because I think the Bitcoin is going to push around to 40k and then probably have a little slide off. And that's when we might see our short term altcoin season coming in. And obviously throughout the next bull market, you're going to see times where Bitcoin's booming in Ethereum and then it's the large caps. And suddenly you're going to see those degen altcoins starting to boom as well. If you want to get your hands on some of those degen altcoins, and know exactly which altcoins to be buying right now, then you need to be in the inner circle, which is linked down below, guys. Just $9.99 per month. All of the technical analysis that everyone is sharing on a daily basis in here, guys, is literally just $10 a month, and you can make that money just by following one of these traders. We have a number of expert traders in there, as well as myself, sharing our technical analysis all the time. What else is really cool, and I have a call this afternoon with a venture capital firm who potentially are gonna be able to give us pre-ICO allocations, and that's gonna be exclusive to the inner circle uh, and there will be a way to get into that through the inner circle so guys if you want to find out more about that make sure you hit that link down below in the description because that's how i bought tenet 0.02 cents and currently today it's at around 14 cents so i've already done like a 7x in like the last month or so and i do believe that tenet is going to be a potential 100x maybe even a thousand x token so i could potentially make like a million dollars in tenet if things go well because i was able to buy at that pre-ico stage now obviously you're not guaranteed to do that but you've got a much better chance of doing it in the inner circle. Guys, if you enjoyed that, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, you want to learn more about HBAR and other coins I'm buying, then subscribe. And I'll see you in the very next video. Bye-bye.